Hey everyone, uh, welcome to Dapper Dash. Today I want to show you how to work within Power Query. Specifically, today we're going to learn how to merge data sources and how to dynamically capture any column changes from a merged data source. All right, so let's dive right into it. And if you want to support my channel and my content in any way, subscribing would be the biggest help. So I really appreciate it. Uh, let's dive right in. Okay, so here I have two data sources. One is a SQL table that has different movie stars and the other is coming from an Excel workbook that has the same movie stars but it has attributes so a picture and also their height in inches and when I'm working with two different data sources a lot of the time what you want to do is you want to be able to combine these two tables so that you can work out of a single data source and we're going to combine them and we're going to bring in the columns from our attributes table into our movie stars. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go up here to merge queries. You're going to go ahead and select which column you want. Uh, what other table are we merging to? We're merging to our attributes table. We're going to merge on the name and I only want to inner join. So I only want those rows that match. Hit OK and you're going to get a column here. Now this column is called attributes, probably coming from our second data source. But this isn't what we want, right? We want it to bring in the columns. I want to see the image. I want to see the height. And all we're getting is a column of tables. Well, the next step that you want to do to fix that is click on, on this little button here. And this is going to expand the columns that you're going to bring in. And just go ahead and hit OK. And there we go. Now we get our column names. And, and this is great, right? We are able to merge the two tables so that I can bring in the columns from one data source into the other and work out of only a single data source. So this should pr solve the problem, correct? Well, here's the issue. What if my second data source is constantly changing? What if the data source is always adding new attributes? So let me explain. I'm going to go ahead and add the age of the actor. Okay. So now that we've added it here. I'm going to go ahead and refresh uh, my table, my attributes table. Hit refresh and there we go. So it has captured the change, but what about in our combined data source? If I go ahead and hit refresh, you'll notice that the age column that we just added is not brought in. Now the problem that happens uh, with the steps that we just did, and I'll go into the advanced editor to show you, is that when you merge everything the way that we've just done it, it hard codes which columns you're bringing in. Because it's hard coded, there's no dynamic factor. So any, any new columns that get added to this data source that you would initially want to bring in, you're not capturing it. You're going to have to come in here and you can manually do it. You can manually add the new column called age and then give it uh, an a name. So what do I want my new column to? You know, I'm going to say attributes dot age. And then I'd have to hit done. And, and you'll notice that now it brings in the age column. You know, well, what happens if I add another column and another column and another column? Or what happens if I delete a column? Right? Those changes you're going to have to manually account for every single time. So I'm actually going to show you how to dynamically account for that. And we're going to work in here in, in the primary source. After we've merged our, our tables, we're going to go to that primary data source and we're going to start to work in here. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to locate where you merge the queries. And right before it, we're going to add a step. Um, and this is going to capture the column names, right? This is going to capture the di dynamic uh, names of the column. So uh, you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name this my attributes table underscore uh, columns and this is going to be equal to table dot column names and we're grabbing the column names from attributes which is our second data source and go ahead and hit comma now that's just grabbing the names now we've got to pass those names into our step where we expanded uh, our column out so what we're going to do is here where we have all the table name data we're going to go ahead and remove that 
Okay, so the expand table name function, it takes in the table, which is our, our primary source that we've already merged. And it says, which column am I expanding? Well, it's the new column that we added, which was called attributes. Remember, we had a, a new column called attributes, and then we expanded that into each of the individual columns. Okay, and we're going to add a step. And this step is, which columns do you want to grab from your attributes column? Well, the columns that we're grabbing it are going to come from this new uh, variable that we created called attribute columns. And the last step is, is what do you want the new columns to be named? Previously, all we did was it automatically set the column name attributes and then dot the name of the new column that was imported. So we're going to do something very similar. We're going to go into here and you're going to type in list.transform. And the list that we're going to transform is our attributes columns, right, where we grab the column names. And we're going to hit comma. And we're going to transform each of the values in here. And then you're going to type in this underscore the underscore just references itself. It says for each value in here, take the value and we're going to append. In this particular case, I'm going to add underscore ATTR. And you should be good to go ahead and hit done. And you'll see that we've captured the columns, right? Name, image, height, age and we've added an underscore ATTR. Now, I'm gonna add an additional step because I don't want two duplicate columns that have the same uh, values, right? Because we're bringing in the name from one that matched against the name of the other, and I don't really wanna do that, so I'm gonna add an extra step at the end of this. So comma, extra step, I'm just gonna call it final, table columns. So I'm going to remove the columns from my previous step. And which column? This is the list. So the column that I'm going to remove is called name underscore ATTR. And make sure that final is the final result. Hit done. And there we go. Now I've removed it. So now when I add a new column or when my data source changes, can I capture the change without manually having to add the new column name? So I'm going to paste it, hit save, and I'm going to refresh, and I should be able to see my new column. And there it is, born in, right? No manual work had to be done. We didn't have to manually add the column name. It automatically captures this change. So if we go to attributes and we refresh, right, there's the new column. We've already accounted for it. What happens if a column is deleted? Maybe the age column disappears. Hit save. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Age disappears and you'll notice that it also captured the change automatically in our our combined data source. And so that's what I wanted to show you is how to go from uh, combining two tables where normally if you do it through the user interface it's going to hard code the new columns that you're bringing in. And I've shown you how you can change it so that you're dynamically capturing any time a new column is added. All right, there's our age column. And so that's how it's done. And let me show you how that works when you're working within a dashboard, right? Anytime you refresh a dashboard, uh, I want to show you that you can see the new columns come in. Okay, so here we are. I, I applied my changes. Uh, and what I've done is I've built a really quick dashboard. Just ha here's my actors, right? My movie stars from my main data source. And then here are some of the attributes that we brought in from our attributes data source. And here's the average age. Here's the average height in inches. I want to verify that indeed I dynamically can capture new columns. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in what state they were born in. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Go back into here. Um, right, we're not we're not in the Power Query screen anymore. We're just here in our primary uh, visual screen, and I'm going to go ahead and hit refresh.
and you'll notice that here's our born in column right and it's brought it into here as well so I can now use it in my primary table and now I see that where they were born they were born in California born in Hawaii born in you know Jessica Chastain was born in, in California right so a lot of the times you're not working we can hide this one because a lot of the times you're not working with that one right this is your merged query this is the one that we want to work with uh, and so I mean same thing I mean I can add a new column called random and just you know random stuff hit save and every time that you refresh this you're gonna see your new column brought in automatically right no more needing to hard code the name into your power query it's dynamic now uh, I have that formula or that function down in the description if, if you need to go grab it so that you can quickly just drop this into your your power query remember it's just two steps grab the column names from your second data source and then when you expand the table columns you just bring in those column names right column names and then you create a quick function that takes each name and in my our particular case remember we added an underscore attr just so that we know uh, where our columns are, are coming from that's the tutorial hopefully this helped you um, if you have any questions about this, uh, let me know in, in the chat, but this was pretty short, but I think this was really, really helpful because I've, I've been able to use this several times in the work that I do. So I appreciate it. If you stuck around this long, um, help out my channel by subscribing and, and I'll talk to you guys later.